the suspect's neighborhood. Oh, they're just pouring out of their home. Everyone seems to be emotionally involved, especially the suspect's mother. Police try to hold her back as the pursuit races by. Traumatized by her son's criminal behavior, she collapses. Delinquent continues raging through the streets, completely oblivious to his mother's condition. He feels confident, knowing every twist and turn in the area. These are his stomping grounds, and he intends to show officers they're not wanted. charges a police cruiser, forcing the officer backwards to avoid a collision. It's bad enough that the suspect is running, but blatantly threatening officers is madness. Police decide the time for action is now. One unit rams the boy's car, but he accelerates like a bullet and pulls away. Officers catch up and corner him behind a strip mall. But with the home court advantage, this suspect knows all the ins and outs. The teen pours into the parking lot, only to find police waiting for him. Somehow, he slips through and heads for the street, but officers have the exits blocked. I don't think he can get by him. I just don't think he can get by him. In brazen defiance, the suspect makes his own exit, spilling back onto the road, but he only finds more cruisers waiting for him. This, this has gotten really dangerous now. He treats the whole thing as a joke, even mocking police as they follow. Oh, it appears to be dancing. I don't believe this. The suspect is dancing, not taking this pursuit seriously at all. But the authorities aren't laughing. Neither are the suspect's friends and family watching the spectacle on TV. When police see an opportunity to end the dramatic pursuit, they don't hesitate. The suspect makes a turn, and officers take action. Oh, they almost got him there. But nearby motorists make aggressive maneuvering risky. There's a lot of traffic out at this hour. For now, officers just follow and wait. We're losing light now. This chase has gone on for well over an hour. Tension grows as the sun sets. In the dark, it's much harder to see pedestrians. As the suspect rolls from block to block, he seems to gain the support of bystanders, much to officers' dismay. And, well, they're just waving him along. But even though the citizens side with the juvenile, it's a policeman's duty to keep them safe. And with increasingly low visibility, there's the night sun. The watch commander decides to pull ground units off the chase. Police definitely backing away right now. With police out of sight, the suspect thinks he has the advantage. He hopes to lose the officers in the dark, becoming just another set of headlights on the road. You won't believe what happens next. Out of nowhere, a civilian in a pickup rams the suspect hard. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong thing to do. The civilian driver strikes a second time. And officers are forced to rejoin the chase. Well, that guy will be identified and arrested by police officers. The recent jolt has infuriated the teenage driver. He feels betrayed by the public he thought was behind him. He turns his vehicle into a four-wheeled battering ram, muscling other motorists out of his way. Just hit that vehicle. There goes the bumper. With his car falling apart and police back on his tail, the once cocky teen now heads for his neighborhood. But back at his house, things have reached a boiling point. Neighbors know the chase is coming their way. A lot of activity up ahead. When the suspect turns onto his street, he gets a big surprise, and police get a break. Flashing lights up ahead. The emergency vehicle 
was dispatched to help the boy's ailing mother now block the suspect's path. 